Yes, sir. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally, back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. In this one, uh, we are taking a request from a couple people on YouTube. Uh, now, this request has popped up on the channel so many times in the last couple of weeks that I just had to do it, man. Uh, so I'm just going to run through the list of people real quick. Darcy Vela... Leroy Stevens, Brandon Gaming and Unboxing, Dominic Waffles, Brody Moto, Adam Zalabai, and Cedric Babbley all want to see the Dukes of Hazard General Lee Dodge Charger. Man, I think this is an absolutely dope idea. Uh, you can see we are starting out in the newer Charger, which ironically a four-door as opposed to the two-door that was from the original TV show. Now, if you guys have been subscribed to the channel already, you will already know that we have actually done a Dodge Charger uh, General Lee build way back in the day, back when we only had a few thousand subscribers. You guys can actually check that out. So what I'm thinking I want to do is take this Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat see if we can find a General Lee skin for it and make ourselves a modified newer version. So what I'm gonna do is just search in here General Lee and see if anything comes up. Now I have a feeling that there's gonna be a couple people out there with this same idea. So I'm just gonna skim through a couple of skins here until I find something that I like. And by the looks of it, this skin right here is looking absolutely dope. I uh, really like the fact that they have the flag on the hood as well. You can see that it says General Lee quite clearly. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead, buy this one up, see if we can replicate this classic with this absolutely dope Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Now, if you guys have any requests, make sure you drop them down in the comment section. Uh, this week, we're just doing random, uh, off-the-wall type of uh, builds here. Just, you know, people that are kind of requesting those oddball builds. Uh, but for this one, obviously, like I said, so many people had requested this. And the only reason that I'm doing this Challenger, as opposed to an actual uh, Charger, which there is in this game is because we have already actually done that build. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and spice this one up. Now, right off of the bat, we're obviously rocking a very nice supercharged motor in here. Uh, what do you guys say we go ahead and put that wide body kit on here, man? I think that's going to be a nice touch. Um, everything else, let me see here. No, we're going to continue working. Uh, arrow and appearance. What do we got here for wings? Ooh, yeah, that nice duck bill. I am liking that. That's looking absolutely sick. Um, now, the key here is to build something to pay homage to the original vehicle, but for this also to look and feel like a show car that you could take to, you know, any type of car show, theoretically, in real life, and have it, you know, people that are fans of the TV show see this car, want to gather around it, and obviously take pictures. Um, so that's the key, the key here. Hopefully we can pay homage to some of you old, uh, you know, Dukes of Hazard fans to maybe, uh, I don't know, bring back a little bit of nostalgia here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just skim through a couple of wheel options and uh, I'm gonna get back to you guys once I find something that I like, which for you guys through the magic of editing is actually not gonna be that long. Uh, but it took me a while to come to this decision. I think I'm going to go with the American Racing Torque Thrust wheels. Um, now, this is obviously a very classic muscle car wheel. The thing about it is I'm going to make them as big as possible. And we're going to slam and stance this thing. Maybe get a little bit of camber in there. See if we can tuck them up into the back. Uh, I think that's going to give us a real aggressive look and... As much as this is paying homage to the classic version of this car, um, I think it's quite evident that the way you know newer trends are going, uh, slamming and stancing is definitely the way to go uh, to get the street cred these days. So that's what we're gonna do for this one for the newer generation of uh, you know for those of you guys who may not even know much about the Dukes of Hazard. 
There was a remake not that long ago with Johnny Knoxville and uh, I believe Jessica, what was her? Jessica Simpson. And, uh, you know, definitely not quite as uh, nostalgic as, let's say, the original. Uh, but definitely, definitely a fun movie to watch, man. I can't say even ne anything negative about it. Uh, so for this one, we're just going to do a few minor bolt-ons, intake, exhaust, some cams, a supercharger upgrade, intercooler, as well as a flywheel. Nothing too spectacular, uh, since I do want this thing to be, uh, you know, pretty much usable on the street. I don't want it to be just overpowering and uh, something I just can't control. Uh, so next up, we are going to jump into the tuning. Uh, let's check out our gearing. Look at all the gears on this thing. Eight gears. That's absolutely insane, man. Um, I guess for a car like this with such a high displacement, sucking back so much gas, it really helps to have that many gears in the sense that you can, um, you know, you. it's... When you got eight gears, you just pop her in eighth gear, low RPMs. This car's probably got that active uh, cylinder control as well, where the cylinders turn off. I can only imagine that it would, because if it's running on, you know, all eight cylinders all the time, super, super gas guzzler. Um, but yeah, we don't have to do anything with the paint, because we already got this sicko generally paint on here now. The only thing I'd really change maybe is lose the flag on the hood. Uh, but, I mean, everything else is looking pretty dope on this. Now, right off of the bat, I'd like to do some donuts. Wow, okay. Third gear, still spinning. Let's see if we can get her into fourth. Still spinning in fourth. I got a feeling fifth gear is going to be where we bog down, but look at this. Wow. Okay. Let's go for a little bit of a rip on the street. See what this thing's all about. Damn, dude. Now, in the Dukes of Hazard TV show, oh shoot, obviously that, uh, that charger was definitely, you know, not lifted off of the ground, but let's just say stock height. The stock height of cars back then, big V8, they were meant to go off-road and take a little bit of rugged terrain, um, whereas this one, definitely not going to be able to jump anything with this car. We might take it off-road, I guess, and uh, see what it's all about now. I can already tell that the aggressive camber in the rear is definitely uh, sacrificing some of the handling that I know this car is capable of. But for a drift car and all-around just good-looking, dope car, it definitely rips. Now, if we were going to go Dukes of Hazard in true, true form, I'd leave the ride height the way that it is. Maybe put a uh, rally set of tires on here. That way, if we do decide to take it off-road, it can actually function properly, especially in the rain. I got a feeling that once it rains, this thing is going to be useless. But we'll just go to the garage and get a new car when that happens. Uh, so let's take her off-road hitting a giant tree there right off of the bat. Gotta love when that happens. So yeah, definitely no grip off-road when you're going from a dead stop. So try not to hit any trees as I hit another tree. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you hit the gas and it just wants to go sideways no matter what gear it's in, man. Oh yes, what a great place to bring a Dukes of Hazard vehicle, man. This is the spot right here. If you guys haven't, uh, if you guys don't know out there in Forza. This is really where I can already tell that I need a rally set of tires if we're gonna be doing this kind of nonsense. But it'll be just for the video, so I guess for the sake of uh, 
keeping it somewhat short and not have to editing out or uh, edit out too many parts I would just keep it moving man but like as you can see no grip whatsoever just spinning right out but I mean the thing sounds great in my opinion it looks good I really like this uh, this skin Damn. Ah, Duke's a hazard. We out here, boy. Woo! Let's get a little photo mode of that, broski. Hell yeah, dog. What do you guys think of that, man? Screenshot or nah? I think so. Um, so with that being said, home bros. Um what better way to put an end to a video than flying through the air? Oh, that's absolutely sick, man. I don't know if this is going to be the thumbnail for the video, but I think this is a great place to end this one. Um, so as always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more uh, and you are subscribed already, definitely head on over to the Facebook page. Um... We're going to be doing some giveaways, a uh, million credits when we hit 500 likes, another million once we hit 1,000. Uh, so yeah, definitely head on over there, uh, maybe take part in that. But yeah, man, Duke's a hazard steez, like for sure, right? Uh, but I'm thinking this is probably going to be the end of this video. So as always, I am your boy Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. We're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, oh no. Oh, for fuck's sake, every fucking time. Showdown, bitch. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer anymore.